Well, the Colorado Restaurant Foundation is working to develop new leaders in the hospitality industry. The foundation is one of a few across the country that offers certified apprenticeship programs. CBS Colorado Mornings anchor Michelle Grego shows us how. Is there anything else on the list that we need prepped out? Julian Garcia is pursuing his dream. Making food for people has sort of always been my passion. He started at Brighter Rotisserie and Kitchen doing prep. Prep is just sort of like knife works, um, also um, cutting up the chicken, separating it so that we have um, pulled chicken and stuff like that. He filled in at the front of the house for a while before doing an apprenticeship as a line cook. With them having me work in the mornings, the busiest time of the restaurant, um, I got a lot of experience in making sure that I stayed level-headed and could handle pressure. A restaurant is a high-pressure workplace. Getting high-quality food prepared in a timely manner, you need workers you can trust. I would definitely consider this program a success. Brighter General Manager Rob Lee committed to the apprenticeship program as a way to develop his next generation of managers. It has a beginning and a goal, and there are many checkpoints along the way. Having that structure, I think, is a little bit better than the sort of uh, seat of your pants training. Julian did a second apprenticeship at Brighter and now has been promoted to kitchen supervisor. It feels amazing. It honestly feels like all the hard work that I've put in is like starting to pay off. The on-the-job training that Julian has gotten is getting him closer to his goal of becoming a general manager one day. I'm Michelle Griego covering Colorado First. And best wishes to him. The Colorado Restaurant Foundation funds its programming through the Food and Wine Festival. That four-day festival starts on Wednesday. Today, it ends with a grand tasting on Saturday. We've got a link to get tickets at cbscolorado.com.